Thank you for visiting Dr. AFib. I'm Dr. Morales. In today's video segment, we're going to be talking about a very common question that I get. Can AFib be cured? Well, in order to better answer that question, you have to define what does a cure mean? To me, I have a very strict definition of a cure. A cure for atrial fibrillation means that you get either a procedure done or a lifestyle change or weight loss which gives you zero atrial fibrillation for the rest of your life, not even one second of atrial fibrillation. And if you use that very strict definition, unfortunately the answer is no. There is no clear cure for atrial fibrillation. Now there may be a few examples out there of people that you may know that either got a procedure done or a lifestyle change and they never had any atrial fibrillation anymore after that. But those would be overall few examples of that. And in general, whatever treatment strategies they may have gotten cannot be applicable to the entire population of people who have atrial fibrillation. I tell people the example of patients who have a pacemaker. For example, somebody who has a pacemaker is always recording all the time. And even if they have a history of atrial fibrillation and they get a very successful procedure done, like an ablation procedure, the pacemaker will still record small but insignificant episodes of atrial fibrillation. So the episodes of AFib are not zero, but they're still a little bit there, but it's just dramatically improved. Now that's not to say that an ablation procedure, or whether that's a catheter ablation or a surgical ablation or even lifestyle modifications like weight loss or treating sleep apnea, can dramatically improve the amount of AFib that, that you have, but it's not going to be a 100% cure. I've unfortunately seen patients in the hospital who had procedures done that had very successful outcomes and they were told they didn't need medications anymore. And the first signs of AFib coming back several years down the road was a stroke, unfortunately. So even if you have a procedure done for atrial fibrillation, that's whether it's a surgical procedure or a catheter-based ablation procedure, atrial fibrillation is still a chronic condition that requires chronic management. So the areas that still need to be addressed are any residual symptoms that you may have of atrial fibrillation, your risk of stroke, and also risk factor modification, which can be include managing things like high blood pressure, diabetes, obesity, as well as sleep apnea. But with the right treatment strategies, you can have a very successful procedure which can dramatically reduce the amount of AFib you're having and improve your quality of life. Thank you for visiting the video segment of Dr. AFib. Happy New Year. I'll see you next time.